for having this hearing today. Thank you all for being here. In 1980, Congress uh, created these business development companies, or BDCs, as special investment vehicles with the goal of giving small businesses more access to capital. And Congress required BDCs to invest at least 70% of their money in small businesses and as, an and as an incentive to attract investors to BDCs. Congress put a big carrot on the table and exempted BDCs from corporate income taxes. Now, I know a lot of BDCs focus on small business investments and fill a hole in the market. I know a lot of companies in Massachusetts and across the country get investment money from BDCs, but I'm concerned that some of the largest BDCs have turned this into a raw deal for investors, and the bill before us today would take a bad deal and make it worse. Mr. Arrogetti, you run the biggest BDC in the country, Aries Capital, and I took a look at some of the disclosures your company submitted to the SEC, and frankly, i got to say, they're pretty shocking. Over the last decade, your management and incentive fees have risen by over 35% annually. They have nearly doubled every two years. Meanwhile, total returns to shareholders in that same time period have risen by only about 5%. And because of lousy numbers like these, institutional investors are bailing out of BDCs, leaving behind a lot of mom and pop investors who may not realize that they're getting fleeced. Mr. Arrogetti, you have been pushing for legislation that would allow your company to borrow more money and increase your leverage. In fact, your company alone has spent $1.5 million lobbying on this issue in the last, year, uh, last few years. And you say that's because you want to be able to invest in more small businesses. But it seems to me that's something of a misdirection. If you really want to have more money to invest, why don't you lower your high fees and offer better returns to your investors? Then you get more money and you can go invest it in small businesses. Thank you for the question, uh, Senator. Uh, I think when we talk about ROEs on entities that are required by law to distribute 90 to 100 percent of their income, it's not a corollary to look at other operating companies to talk about a 5% increase in shareholder value because effectively... So you're saying that, in effect, you have doubled the return every couple of years to your right. investors? The way I, the way I would uh, encourage people to look at the math is you have to actually look at the reinvestment of those dividends because BDC I, don't have... have the so I've, I've watched your fees nearly double every two years. What I'm trying to get at is if you're saying the return is also doubling nearly every two years, then I don't get why the market hasn't just solved this. Why aren't people flocking to you wanting to well, invest I, more I, money I, and you've I, got plenty of money? I think that they to are. put into small so businesses. I think that they are. Uh, we IPO'd in 2004 with an equity market capital. Well, if you've got plenty of money, then why are you coming to Congress asking for a shift in the allocations the so that you can attract even Sure. More so money. It's somewhat circular. So when, yeah, we IPO'd, when we IPO'd in 2004, we had an equity market capitalization of 165 million and 11 people. Today, we have an equity market capitalization of 4 billion and hundreds of people who are in local markets making middle market loans. So, and as yet, you think and of, yet, the institutional investors seem to be leaving you and leaving only the mom and pops behind. I don't think behind. that's true. Sixty percent of the investors in Aries Capital Corporation are large mutual fund complexes. Uh, there are actually some constraints. You're saying that, that in the industry, raised. institutional investors are moving in to BDC. Institutional investors are about fifty to sixty percent. Are you saying they're moving in? What the slope looks like? Well, I think they are stable. I think that I, there are I, that's not the data I'm seeing. But let me get to another issue here. I also want to focus on an aspect of the BDC bill that you're pushing. BDCs right now can invest up to 30 percent of their money in things other than small businesses, including hedge funds or other financial firms. Aries has taken full advantage of this to funnel money into financial firms. At the end of last year, it had about 26 percent of its money in financial services companies. Now, this bill would let BDCs dedicate another 
20% of their investments to financial companies rather than to small businesses, which means that BDCs could invest half of their money in financial firms and still get all of the no taxes break that was offered to get them to invest directly into small businesses. If the goal of this bill is to promote investment in small businesses that make things and provide services to their communities, then why does it allow BDCs to divert even more money, up to 50% of their portfolio, away from small businesses and into other financial firms? Sure. So I'll use Aries Capital Corporation as an example because you referenced 26% of our balance sheet in financial services firms. Back to my comments earlier about transparency, if you were to look at our uh, filed financial statements, you would actually see that those are not financial services firms, but it's an investment in two joint ventures that we have with a large insurance company, look, a large specialty finance company. Let, let's be clear. Make, we're talking. I'm months. sorry. We're talking about an amendment here mm -hmm. that says that you can go up to 50 percent of your investments not in small businesses, and still get all the tax breaks that Congress created so that you would invest in small businesses. I'm out of time here, but I've got to say, I am very concerned about the business model that big BDCs like Aries are using, essentially imposing private equity-like fees on mom-and-pop investors without any of the same kind of potential upside. And I'm very concerned about aspects of this bill which would allow for firms like Aries to borrow a whole lot more money, divert billions of dollars away from small businesses to hedge funds and other financial institutions, and collect even more management fees, all while preserving special tax breaks and not doing out anything to help either small businesses or BDC investors. As this bill is currently written, it is a giveaway to BDC executives, and it is masquerading as a small business bill. If Congress decides to act on BDCs, it should focus on the best interests of investors and on small businesses, not on BDC management. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.